So I thought that I'd make a video going through some of the paintings that I've done over the last couple of years and just talk a little bit about each one. So here we go. Okay, so this is one of the first paintings that I ever did. It's uh, just a bonsai tree with a red circle in the background with white, sort of like the, the Japanese flag, and it's just sitting on a plain table. I used uh, like the craft acrylic paints for this one. So really, really cheap paint. It took me a long time to do it. It still takes me a really long time to paint things today. But this painting, for how simple it is, took me a really long time to finish. But for my first bonsai tree, I was really happy about it. All right, so the, the Saiyan Space Pod painting. So this is actually the first painting that I ever did once I got a little bit nicer paints. So I wasn't using the craft paint anymore. I was using uh, Windsor & Newton Galleria paints. They're pretty affordable. They're not too bad. Um, and this is this is the first painting that I ever actually sold to someone. I sold it to a guy I went to college with who lives in Colorado now and sent it to him. And it will always be the, the first painting that I ever sold. So you're going to see a recurring theme here where I just paint a bunch of bonsai trees. Uh, I just think that trees in general are really fun to paint because if you don't know what you want to paint, then you can make a tree basically look however you want it to look. And then on top of that, the bonsai tree is probably one of the like the coolest looking trees there are next to like a mangrove as well. So this is my bonsai tree. So next we have another digital painting. This one's of a giraffe. This was actually a painting done for someone. I intended to make stickers out of it, but it just never happened. But I was really happy with how this giraffe came out. All right, so this one is obviously a Charmander. It's, uh, it's not very detailed, but I absolutely love the background. It's whenever I started like figuring out how to really do backgrounds that I found interesting. And this one was one of the first ones I did that with. Um, so yeah, overall really happy with this Charmander. So I painted this Caterpie right around the same time as I painted the Charmander, but I spent a little bit more time on it, put a little bit more detail and shading into it. And I ended up really, really happy with how this Caterpie turned out. Okay, so next we have everybody's favorite bad guy turned good guy, and that's Vegeta. So with this one, sort of the same, where I really, really liked the background. I spent a lot of time on the background, and I thought it looked interesting. But I didn't really like how the actual Vegeta part of the painting came out. So this would be something that I would want to redo a version of again. So this digital painting makes me laugh every time I look at it. It's basically, I wanted to make an animal into a fruit. So I chose an armadillo and an orange, and I thought it worked out really, really well with the little leaf coming off the tail and it rolling up into an orange. So I thought it ended up pretty good. So I am incredibly happy about the plague doctor wearing a snapback hat. I think this is around the time when I started getting better at anatomy. And while it's not perfect, I think that I made a huge, huge like progress toward getting anatomy and people's features looking correct whenever I started doing this painting. So this is an earlier stage of this Wolverine painting. It's got a little bit of shadows on it. I ended up going back and adding a lot more shadows and a lot more highlights, but I couldn't find a picture of that one because I no longer have the painting. But I was still pretty happy with this because it's a, it's a custom Wolverine outfit. Okay, so this skinny jaundiced guy is actually supposed to be concept art for an RPG game that I want to make in the future. He doesn't have a name, but he's sort of supposed to be an almost sickly looking skinny guy with really defined muscles who is sort of like a criminal slash assassin type who uses knives. Um, I'm really, really happy with how the anatomy turned out on this one. I think it, it shows my progress and how I'm slowly getting better at making people. Okay, so this funny little painting of just the little box houses was actually inspired by the theme song of Weeds. So it's the like little boxes on the hillside song. So that's where this painting came from. And it's not like my usual style, but it was still a fun painting to make. So I don't have a lot to say about this painting. It was basically just a, I didn't know what to paint. So I just used colors and tried to make textures. In this painting, if you look at it in person, you can like fill the texture between the colors. And that was something that I thought was really, really interesting. Oh, I really enjoyed painting this skull actually. So it's got some colors in it that aren't the normal skull colors, like some greens and some magentas. And I think it just turned out really, really cool looking. So this is my Iron Man painting. Sorry that I couldn't get a better picture of it, but I really like how this one turned out. I wish I would have went a little more, uh, a little higher with the contrast, but overall I think it turned out as like a really cool looking painting though. 
Okay, so this painting was one that I actually did for myself. I ended up selling it, but I did it because it was a painting that I wanted to keep. It's a uh, Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. And while there are some things that I would change about it, I think that at the time, whenever I painted this, that I was really, really happy with how it turned out. So up to this point in my art career, this Gambit painting is like my prized possession. It's by far my favorite painting that I've ever done. Just everything about it I liked. I like the pose. I like how the colors turned out. I like the background. I just, I'm, I'm so, so happy with how this painting turned out. All right, so here we go again. It's another Pokemon. It's also another bonsai tree. Um, I was really happy with how this one turned out. I actually just finished it about a week ago. Um, it's got a lot of metallic paints and color shifting paints in it. So it ended up really, really cool, I think. Whenever you take it outside and like look at it in the sun, it changes how it looks based on how the sun is hitting it. So it just overall turned out as a pretty cool painting. So these two Cowboy Bebop paintings are actually the most recent paintings that I've done. I finished them earlier today. These were done for a commission for someone that I used to work with. They're for her son. And I think they both turned out pretty well. I like the colored one better, but I think that both the paintings turned out good and the person buying them was happy. So I was pretty happy with it. I really, really like the, the background on the colored one. I think that doing backgrounds is honestly like my favorite thing about painting. All right, so that's the end of the paintings that I have pictures of. If you like this video, then if you could throw me a like, comment, or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day.